Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. You know, as hoof trimmers, we are presented with situations dealing with a lot of foot problems in cows. Sometimes, like today's case, there's not a lot that we can really do about it. What we have here is we've got a cow that's got a really severely swollen uh, lateral claw. And sometimes these can be a result of an abscess, but we've, what we've got here is a, a joint that is super tight. It's um, It doesn't have fluid in it, which leads me down the road that this is probably a uh, an injury up in the joints. So what we're gonna do today is I'm just gonna kind of show you what I can do um, from my perspective to try to make this cow feel a little bit better and how I can rule out potential other causes for this uh, this type of lameness. So the first thing I do whenever I'm presented with a cow that's got some lameness is I watch her walk. Now, when this cow was brought to me, I, I noticed that she was favoring a foot, but she really didn't seem terribly lame. So I didn't really videotape that part of it because I, I didn't think this was anything um, too special of a case. But when she came in, obviously, and I picked this foot up, I could tell there was something obviously very wrong here. Now, what you'll notice is as I'm trimming this, when I put pressure down with that grinder, you'll notice how high up that digit that this toe moves. It doesn't move at the hairline, but it's moving up closer to the dew claws. That entire area moves when I put that grinder on there. That tell, That's a, a sign for you guys to know how tight this joint is. When I put pr pressure on the claw, that entire area is moving. Um, the next thing I, I'm looking for on this foot is any types of breaks in the skin that could lead to an abscess. Here we've got some, we go down by the white line area here, and there's a spot that is that can be problematic that can signal an abscess. Now, although this toe is very, very tight, I don't think that it's an abscess, but it's a spot that I want to investigate um, regardless, just to make sure and rule that out. You'd hate to overlook an abscess spot or a potential area like this, um, just in case. So I'm gonna take that out, I'm gonna investigate that to make sure, but the, the amount of tension and tightness in this claw um, leads me away from that. Once again, like I said, I just gotta check it to make sure that that's not the problem. So if this were an abscess right now, what could happen sometimes is that an abscess forms uh, underneath that little spot that I showed you, and it can actually uh, make that sole release and track all the way up to the hairline, uh, all the way up at the top of that claw. Now, the reason I doubt that in this case is because when that happens, that um, tightness will usually be soft. It'll have uh, some sponginess to it where you can tell there's fluid in there. Uh, in a little while here in the video, I'm going to show you exactly um, how tight that skin is. It's super tight. It's, it doesn't feel like it has, you know, any fluid in it whatsoever. So what I'm doing here is just trying to, like I said, investigate this to make sure that there's not so much pressure in there that, you know, that I could release with this. But I take this all the way down here and, and there's nothing as I suspected. So it really leads me to um, this being a joint uh, issue up inside, either it be a tendon or um, where the two uh, bones in the feet uh, meet somewhere in there. Maybe she twisted it and that's what why we have some um, swelling in there that's got this entire joint tight. Another symptom we commonly see with uh, if this were an abscess and this joint was tight due to that would be extreme sensitivity to touch when we're um, either grinding on it or when I was cutting on it. She would flinch from that you know, being very painful. She's really not doing that. She's not really moving at all when I work on that claw. So you can tell that it's not in that area that I was just working on, in that abscess area. She, like I said, really showed no um, reaction to me working on it whatsoever. So like I, like I said, that just, it's, all these things are pointing me in the direction of joint issues. So what I'm gonna do, and really the only thing that I can do is to apply a block that can act like a crutch for this cow. And what that'll do, much like it does when I'm dealing with an abscess or an ulcer or anything else, it takes the weight off of that claw and allows it to rest and whatever inflammation is in there, now that it's not being, that claw is not being worked, it'll allow that, you know, some time to heal and, and, um, 
and try to get that inflammation down. The farmer's also going to give her some some uh, drugs to help take some of that inflammation down. Um, like I said, though, she really wasn't that lame on this foot, and now that she's got this block, that should help her out. With this cut away, you can get a look at the inside of the foot, and this is the area here that I believe where that inflammation is, or in the uh, where the tendons attach there. Here you can see exactly how tight that heel is, just super tight there. But hopefully with the medication we gave and with that block, um, that'll give her time to rest and uh, she'll be good as new in no time. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching. Hopefully I didn't talk your ear off too much today. See you on the next one.